Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel like I always say that. I do always say that. Anyways, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a collab with Ladies Who Collab. And this is a Facebook beauty group that I'm in. It's just a whole bunch of ladies and we like to collab. Pretty self-explanatory, so why am I rambling on about it? This is the 2016 fall tag. We have reached fall. It's, I think it's my favorite season. I love fall. I love everything associated with fall except the allergies, flu season, etc, etc, all the negative parts of it. But everything else I love. So I'm going to go down the list and through the questions that I have and I have them right here on my screen so I'm going to be looking this way so I can read off of the off of my list and then I can answer the questions. So let me get started. The first question is my favorite fall candle scent. So once fall comes in and it approaches, I love all those warm scents. So anything that smells like baked apple pie, apple cinnamon, um, some pumpkin because sometimes pumpkin pie and all that kind of candle scents can be overwhelming or also like the wax melts that have like um, waffles, waffle smells and, and that kind of stuff that kind of overwhelms me sometimes. But I love all the apple spices and all the baked this. And I think I really, really love, of course, cinnamon bun. And I know there's another one. Oh, of course, of course. I love coffee scented candles. So coffee or latte. Those are my favorite fall scents. Next is my favorite fall lip color. Um, To be honest, any favorite question that has to do with makeup, I have not even ever put any thought into it. I kind of just march to the beat of my own drum. I don't go with what's in style or what colors go with what season. I just wear what I want when I want and that's it. But since I did have to put some thought into it, I would have to say for the fall, um, of course it has to be like toned down neutrals, maybe some warmer neutrals as opposed to brighter pinks and stuff like that. I don't have any examples right here within reach. But I am thinking like maybe more berryish kind of colors, something like that. Favorite fall eye favorite eyeshadow palette for the fall. Same thing applies. I do not have a favorite eyeshadow palette for the fall, but I did go and check, and this year I do want to start using more of my uh, the palettes or the colors that I have neglected. So I am gonna focus more. Uh, for example, so it will be like this lime crime. Um, little shadow palette and I want to start using this one because it is a beautiful color so I want to use that that type of color which is it's like a bronzy orange which I think it's perfect for the fall and I have some little trios from the bomb that I've been wanting to use and somehow I never ever use them and I always think these are more fall colors but I never use them these are to me, they're, they're uh, maybe a little bit more winterish, but they can still work. And I have another one right here, which is this one. And of course, I cannot forget my Morphe palette. This is a 35W. I have not used it. It's still brand new. So, oh, reflection. Okay, so all of those colors are just screaming out for me to use them, and I haven't used them. So, these are some examples of what I really want to focus on for fall and um, kind of make it into my fall slash winter favorite. Moving on to my favorite favorite clothing item for the fall and that is definitely hands down boots. I look so forward to winter and fall or fall and winter because I get to break out my boots, all those boots that kind of look ridiculous during the summer or the spring even though here in Texas when is it not summer or spring really? It's it's a year-round thing. But during our winter or our fall season, I like to break out my boots and just wear the heck out of them while I can and just enjoy them as much as I can. Number five, my favorite question. What is your favorite Halloween movie? My favorite Halloween movie... Uh, okay, I have several of them. It used to be like a tradition kind of thing that every Halloween I have to watch scary movies. So I would have to watch the Friday the 13th movies or the Poltergeist movies, anything like that. But I have to say, um, thanks to my four-year-old, now my favorite Halloween movie is 
The Nightmare Before Christmas. I can watch that movie so many times and I just love it. I love Jack Skellington and I just love the movie in general. So that would have to be my favorite Halloween movie so far. Next is my favorite drink for the fall time and that is, this is my favorite all year round drink which is coffee. I love coffee in the fall. I love coffee in the winter. In the summer it could be 101 degrees outside. I will still drink my morning coffee. Now if I want to kind of get away from uh, coffee and what else is my favorite, mm, I'd probably say hot cocoa. Hot, hot chocolate that will be kind of like my favorite favorite fall nail color the same nail color I'm wearing right now which is absolutely nothing I prefer my nails bare I do like nail polishes um it's just my nails are kind of weird but as far as a favorite winter color I don't really have one I don't even have a favorite nail color at all favorite Thanksgiving food this is interesting because my favorite Thanksgiving food it would just have to be the sides, I think. I can eat sides and that's it. Like, I don't have to eat turkey. I don't have to eat anything else. I can eat mashed potatoes and cornbread or mashed potatoes and, and gravy and a stuffing. That is it. So I guess, I guess stuffing would be my favorite uh, Thanksgiving food. Does that count as a food? To me, it does. It's like, it should be its own food group because I love it. So I guess stuffing and mashed potatoes that would be my favorite and rolls and cornbread that's a lot of favorites but that is my favorite thanksgiving food my favorite football team what is my favorite fo football team i really do not like football i don't like sports i don't watch sports i can i can watch basketball i can tolerate football to a certain extent maybe even baseball uh but if i had to pick one of course i'm gonna pick the houston texans I'm sorry, Cowboy fans, don't hate me, or Patriot fans, or, you know, any other fans out there that hate the the Texans. I just like the Texans because I used to live in Houston, and I love Houston, and I also love the Texans' color. Is that just, is that a super reason to like football, or to like a certain team? I don't know, but I love my Texans' shirt. It is, it has like sequins and it's sparkly and I love the blue and the red and I just like it what can I say so Houston Texans would have to be my favorite team question number 10 do I prefer a haunted house or a hayride I have to hands down absolutely 100% say that a hayride it's for several reasons one I have anxiety I have natural anxiety I get panic attacks out of nowhere especially when my stress level is elevated so just thinking about or going into a haunted house it's not that I'm scared is that I have severe anxiety of being like jumped on or startled I startle with balloons I have problems going to kids birthday parties because I cannot stand balloons they will startle me I cannot stand those little firecracker things that you throw on the floor and they pop. The 4th of July just, it, oh, I can't even. So I have a trauma from an in incident that happened a while back and I startle with ease. So mix that with claustrophobia and anxiety and haunted house is just really not the place where I want to be. So I would much rather be on a hayride, relax, enjoy the scenery and cuddle and it's more romantic and all that stuff and it's fun and it's just a whole family thing where I have this tiny bit of a percent of getting an actual anxiety attack uh, unless I'm next to like a crying kid or an annoying lady that just, that just annoys me. But other than that, yes, I pick a hayride. What was your last Halloween costume? My last Halloween costume, it was just the cutest doll outfit and I still have it and I'm thinking about wearing it again one day and um, I really enjoyed it. Question number 12, I'm almost done here, is my favorite fall blush color. Again, I haven't, I, I've never really thought about what my favorite fall blush color is, but now that I have to think about it, I am going to to go with more um, tones that are more like this, like a kind of um, blushy, bronzy type of color. You can't even tell, but okay, there it is. Or for example, um, this palette, my BH Cosmetics palette, I love this thing. 
Um, I would say something like these colors up here. So a little bit more toned down as opposed to these or anything brighter like that. So I'm guessing in the neutral, warm kind of tones, maybe a little bit of cool, but as long as they, they stay neutral, um, that is what I, I would think appropriate for the fall. But again, I don't follow my own rules, so... Those are kind of the colors that I like to use during fall. Last question, number 13, and it has number 13 for a reason because it's asking what is my favorite pie for the fall season? <sighs> okay, so pies, I really don't eat. It's very rare when I eat pies. I do like them, especially with like ice cream on them or with coffee. I love them. And of course, being from Texas, I have to say that I love pecan pie. Uh, I can eat pecan pie anytime really, just anytime. But for the fall season, I would have to go with pecan. I'm always dropping stuff in my videos. I would have to go with pecan um, and also apple pie. I love those two. I love pecan and apple pie. I'm just starting to get into pumpkin, so I'm trying it out. I'm like, yes and no. Uh, pumpkin is one of those kind of strongish flavors or just weird things that just make my stomach kind of hurt and but I am starting to get into it so um I am working on becoming a pumpkin pie enthusiast something like that so <laughs> I guess um apple pie and pecan pie those are my two uh favorite fall pies so that concludes the 13 questions for this fall of 2016 tag. We're almost done. Almost done with this year. One more season to go and we are done. Unbelievable. But I would like to thank everybody in the group that collabed. So once again, make sure to go watch the other ladies' videos, which will be linked down below. And if you're interested, if you have a channel and you do not belong to our group, go ahead and click on the description bar down below and there will be a link and it will take you to our Facebook group. And you can just click and join us so you can become part of our tag family, part of our collab family. And that would just make things that much more awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye.